A few years back, I took some of my students in Israel to Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial. We walked in and we were obviously hit by the devastation of what the world looks like when it turns evil. And as we walked through the rooms, there was one room in particular that hit us so hard. It was the room of Kristallnacht. When we walked in there, we saw all these videos of the survivors talking, and it hit me so hard. I was shocked, because they all were saying the same exact story. There was one lady in particular, and she said it the clearest. She said, you have to understand, we weren't Jews, we were Germans. You have to understand how much we love the Germans and how much they loved us. We were best friends. We grew up together. We went to the same orchestras together. We went to each other's weddings. We were Germans. We weren't Jews. And then I remember Gedenkt, the night of Kristallnacht. We heard explosions outside. We saw glass breaking everywhere. Jewish stores being vandalized. And my father, ah, my dear father, she said, he took us all in and brought us into our house. He locked the door and we were standing there shivering, petrified. What is happening? And Gedenkt, my mother, she went, picked up the phone, and she started to call all of her best friends, the Germans. She called one and another and nobody answered. Until finally, I remember clearly, one of her friends, her best friend. I was best friends with their kids and they were best friends with ours. We grew up together, we loved each other. She, our German friend, picked up the phone and my mother said to her, what's happening? And she responded, Starben zu the Yedin. Death to the Jews. It was at that moment that I realized I am not a German, I am a Jew. My friends, on the night of Seder, we have all of our family, our relatives, our loved ones, we're all gathered around. The children's faces are glowing. We're thrilled to be together. What are we celebrating? What is the underlying theme and focus? What is it that we're supposed to give over in Vegata to Levincha? What is our obligation to teach our children that they're meant to walk away from? So we sing. At what is one of the climaxes inside the Seder, we sing the He Amda. My Rebbe Rav Yitzhak Berkowitz Lita taught us an incredible idea. Vehi she'amda, vehi she'amda, lavoteinu velanu. We sing this. What are we singing? That is on this. It is on the deal that Hashem made with Avraham. It's on that deal that has amad, it's stood us. It's been our foundation. Lavoteinu velanu. For our forefathers and us for generations. What is it? It's not going to be one people who are going to stand up and try to annihilate us, destroy us, absolutely wipe us off the face of planet Earth. Not one. Ela rather, in every generation, they're going to stand up and try to destroy us. We're singing this. We are singing the praise and thanking God for a gift of anti Semitism. Because that wakes us up and that lets us know the value of what we need to teach our children on Pesach night. It tells us that you have only one reality in this world and that is to be a Jew. That is who you are. You have no other existence. If you try to be anything else then your God given right to be a Jew. If you try to settle for anything but a greatness, a godliness connection, then God will send a wake up call. He will wake us up and we're thrilled about it because no matter what the world throws on us, Matzilenu mi Adam, Hashem will always save us from them. Be sure to give this message over to your children this year. Your only reality is to be a Jew. Embrace it, own it, take responsibility for it, love it, live it, live as an example for your children, give it over to them. Ad biat. Mashiach, Tzidkenu, Bemherviamenu, Amen.